Ghanaians have been urged to ensure that uh, peace being enjoyed, uh, the peace being enjoyed currently, is not taken for granted. Some pastors in their New Year messages appeal to politicians to make peace a priority and love the political opponents as the country goes to the polls in December. Here's a report by Salam Amenya. Our first port of call was the headquarters of Pure Fire Miracle Ministries at Kissiman. Security of the members was not taken lightly. Both police and military personnel were positioned at vantage point to secure both lives and property. At 9 p.m., congregants worshipped and praised God to show gratitude to God. One of the senior pastors of the church, Pastor Robin, urged Christians to be grateful to God for life. Supposing it was you that your life is going to end, not the year, but your life is going to end, what would you do? Gratefulness lightens up the path to the future. He further charged politicians to promote peace and love. All that the church is telling them is to love your friend, love your neighbor, your political opponent, love him as a brother, love him as a sis love her as a sister. And if we do that, no evil will befall this country. At the Grace Gospel Church International at Mampubi Salvation, General Overseer, Reverend Joseph Bismakojo urged politicians to place the nation's interests above their personal interests going into the December elections. All that we have to do is to seek for the interests of the country and not our selfish ambitions. We have to ensure that there is peace in every atmosphere, wherever we are. Our speeches, you see, we have to be circumspect. Bishop James Cote of the New Wave Revival Mission led the church to make positive declarations for the year 2020. He admonished Ghanaians not to take peace being enjoyed for granted, urging politicians to allow God have his way. And I believe that this peace is not coming from political aspect, it's coming right from God. And I want to advise the parties that will be standing to allow God to have his way. Our next stop was the Kingdom Minded Ministries where Reverend Stephen Kwekuamofa called for a renewal of the mind, charging Ghanaians to improve on sanitation situation in the country. It was a few minutes to the new year when the team arrived at the Congress Chapel International. It was all joy when the clock struck midnight. General Overseer of the Church, Prophet Isaac Anto, urged all to pray for the nation. This is the year we have to be getting closer to God. This is the year we have to be a very serious, prayerful nation. If Ghana is going to pray, we'll see an open heavens. It's 1 a.m. already. We are out with the old one and in with the new one, which is 2020. The churches we visited, two things that ran through all the messages that were being preached was the fact that it is the grace of God that has brought us this far. Beyond that, they are asking that we keep the peace that we are enjoying. Selom Amenya, TV3 News, Accra. I wish you a happy new year and the best of the year 2020.